Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Jane's Fighters Anthology as we continue to go over the um, the Jane's reference material. Just seeing if maybe it was faster to go backwards. Mm, I think it's about a horse apiece right now. But we're definitely getting to that zone where it'll probably be uh, faster to go backwards and forwards. In any case, today's video is for the MiG-17 F Fresco, so without further ado, the MiG-17. Title, McCoy and MiG-17. Natal reporting name, Fresco. Type, single seed fighter bomber. Program, less than a year after the MiG-15 had been sanctioned for production, 1948, this design bureau initiated work on a follow-on fighter that would approach the speed of sound mainly through refinement of the basic airframe configuration. The first prototype received the designation I-330 and flew for the first time in January of 1950. Claims that the I-330 managed to better Mach 1 during test flights are believed to be unsubstantiated, but the overall improvements in performance were important. Following the loss of the first prototype, the second and further improved prototype took over, allowing testing to be completed in 1951, and production of the MiG-17 was given the go-ahead. Compared to the MiG-15, the MiG-17 had a lengthened fuselage with softer taper, larger area tail surfaces to benefit handling characteristics, and thinner section wings with rounded tips. Indeed, the wings were designed from scratch with the inner leading edges extended forward. This resulted in greater root cord and varying leading edge sweepback, 45 degrees along inner portions, 42 degrees on outer panels. A mark of identification was the MiG-17's three boundary layer fences on each wing. Production began with a day fighter model, NATO designation Fresco A, which retained the VK-1 engine. The later MiG-17 PF introduced all-weather capability, housing Is Ismrud S-band radar in a bullet radome at the entrant, entry of the nose air intake and in an extension on the upper lip of the air, it, of the intake. <clears throat> me. Subsequently, this S-band radar was superseded by an E-F-band e, e version of ScanFix, which still gave neither a large antenna nor a wide angle of scan and is now thought obsolescent. Design features Cantilever mid-wing monoplane Sweep back 45 degrees at roots, 42 degrees on outer panels, and hedral 3 degrees. Three boundary layer fences on each wing. Flying controls, split fowler type flaps, bulged rear air brakes. Structure. The fuselage is a semi-monocoque structure. The tail unit has sharply swept surfaces, fin tip dielectric aerial. Landing gear, retractable tricycle type, main wheel tires, diameter 60 centimeters. Power plant. One Kilmov VK-1 A turbojet jet engine developing 33.83 kilonewtons or 7,605 pounds force with afterburning. Normal fuel load in internal tanks, 1,410 liters or 372 U.S. gallons or 310 imperial gallons. A 400 liter or 106 U.S. gallon or 88 imperial gallon external tank may be fitted at, at half span on each wing. Accommodation, pilot only in pressurized cockpit with ejection seat. Rearward sliding canopy. Armament 137mm Nudelmann Suranov NS37 cannon and two 23mm Nudelmann Rector NR23 cannon or three 23mm cannons. Provision for four underwing packs of eight 55mm air to air rockets or a total of 500 kilograms or 1,102 pounds of bombs under the wings. Dimensions external wingspan 9.63 meters or 31 feet 7 inches, length overall 11.36 meters or 37 feet 3 and 1 quarter inches, height overall 3.8 meters or 12 feet 5 and a half inches, wheel track 3.85 meters or 12 feet and 7 and a half inches, weights weight empty 3,930 kilograms or 8,664 pounds, max takeoff weight 6,069 kilograms or 1,300 or sorry, 13,379 pounds. Performance, max level speed at 3,000 meters, 9,845 feet, 617 knots, uh, or 1,145 kilometers per hour, or 711 miles per hour. Max rate of climb at sea level, 3,900 meters, or 12,795 feet per minute. Service ceiling, 16,600 meters, or 54,460 feet. Max range with external tanks and bombs, 755 nautical miles or 1,400 kilometers or 870 miles. 
length 11.36 meters, height 3.8 meters, wingspan 9.63 meters, max takeoff weight 6,069 kilograms, max level speed 617 knots, max range 755 nautical miles, service ceiling 16,600 meters, max rate of climb 3,900 meters per minute. And here we can see the infamous MiG-17 in its North Korean configuration. You can see the nice camel scheme they have on it. And here you can see, ooh, there's some detail that I like to see. Here's the, uh, you can see uh, when they're talking about like how far the rank, part of the wing was 45 degrees and then 42 degrees. Look at that. Huh? Yeah, you can see where that transition point is. That's cool. Especially for something like as old as this game. I'm I just love seeing, you know, when little details make it in like that. Like you know from like at least a uh from like a programming developer standpoint, it probably would have been easier to uh just make that one straight line and most people probably wouldn't have noticed the difference. But nope, we got that, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, this was the bane of our. Oh, you can even see the pilot's different than our usual pilot. Uh, you can't look at him straight on, but you can see he looks like he's. Uh... You know, he doesn't have the white helmet that I'm accustomed to seeing. He's got more of like a leather, a leather cap, kind of more like a World War II pilot than a modern pilot because you look at something let's take the Hornet's fine you see they got those white helmets yeah all the I think all the American fighters have a white helmet or at least all the western ones I guess we'll uh well, the Chinese do too so I don't know if that's specific to North Korea since I believe this aircraft was mostly made for the uh, oh, I almost called it DLC but no the expansion the uh, Vietnam fighters expansion but, um, I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll see when we do the other Soviet era fighters. But, uh, that about sums up the MiG 17. It appears they didn't have as much information on that as the MiG 21. But, um, betting we'll be getting into the rest of the MiG fighters next week. So, look forward to that. But until then, thank you all for watching and stay tuned for next time and stay safe out there. And we'll see you then.